China just unveiled a female robot so realistic, people thought she was human. Meet Iron, the humanoid robot from Xping, often called the Chinese Tesla. When she walked onto the stage, it wasn't some clunky robot demo. She catwalked like a fashion model, smooth, confident, and perfectly balanced. The audience froze. Many were convinced it had to be a human in a robot suit. Hey guys, welcome to NextGen AI. Today we're talking about the most controversial female robot of 2025. Iron stunned everyone with her lifelike walk and model-like grace. So here's what really happened. When a female robot Iron walked across the stage at Xping's AI Day event in Guangzhou, something remarkable happened. This robot, with her distinctly female form, moved with a gentle, fluid gait that looked genuinely natural. We're not talking about clunky robot steps here. This was smooth, confident, model-like movement that makes you question everything you thought you knew about the current state of robotics. Even Xpeng CEO, He Xiaoping, admitted that during rehearsals, his own colleagues were asking if there was actually a real human inside the robot. Think about that for a second. The people building this thing weren't even sure what they were looking at. If you saw this robot walk on stage, would you believe it's not human? Be honest, what's your first thought? Share what you think below. Now here's where it gets really interesting. The female robot is so lifelike that people started believing this is a human in a robot suit. And the controversy around this female robot got so intense that Xpeng had to do something I've never seen before in robotics. In a live demonstration that felt more like a magic show reveal, the engineering team actually cut away parts of iron synthetic skin and padding right there on stage. They literally started removing layers to show what was underneath. And what did they reveal? Complex machinery, articulated joints, robotic limbs, and sophisticated systems driving those fluid movements. Here's the crazy part. Even with sections of her exterior removed, Iron kept walking naturally, demonstrating the genuine engineering behind those movements. If that reveal blew your mind too, hit that subscribe button, because what's coming next will be even crazier. Would you be okay having a humanoid like Iron working in your home or greeting you at a store? Tell me what you do in the comments. So what makes Iron so incredibly lifelike? Let me break down the specs. She stands about 5 feet 8 inches tall with perfectly human proportions. That's already a design choice that sets her apart from most humanoid robots, which tend to look more mechanical or neutral. But the real magic is in the movement. Iron has 82 degrees of freedom throughout her body. To put that in perspective, that means 82 different points where she can move independently. Each hand alone has 22 degrees of flexibility. That's what allows her to bend, pivot, gesture, and interact with objects in ways that feel genuinely human. Under the hood, Iron runs on what Xpeng calls their VLT brain, which stands for Vision Language Task. This is the core engine that drives her autonomous decision-making. It works alongside two other AI models, VLA for Vision Language Action, adapted from Xpeng's autonomous driving tech, and VLM for Vision Language Modeling. The whole system runs on three custom-built Turing AI chips that pump out a maximum computing power of 20 to 150 tops. That's an absolutely staggering amount of processing power packed into a humanoid form. Before we dive deeper, make sure you're subscribed, because next week we're revealing the top 10 female robots of 2025. You don't want to miss it. All right, back to the video. But here's what really caught my attention. Xpeng made a deliberate choice to give Iron a distinctly female appearance, and this wasn't accidental. The company wants to make the robot feel warmer and more intimate for eventual household use. They're even offering customization options where buyers can choose different body shapes, different genders, and different physical characteristics. The CEO compared it to buying a car, saying in the future when you buy a robot, you can choose the gender just like you choose the color of your vehicle. That's a bold strategy that sets Xpeng apart from competitors who mostly stick with neutral, genderless designs. Now let me tell you about Xpeng itself, because understanding the company makes this whole story even more fascinating. Xpeng is one of China's leading electric vehicle manufacturers, often dubbed the Chinese Tesla. They've been making waves in the EV space with smart, tech-forward cars. But here's the twist of Xpeng's seven generations of robots five were actually quadrupeds, four-legged designs. They ultimately pivoted away from that approach, and the CEO's reasoning 
is really interesting. He argued that a human-like form is crucial for collecting valuable data from humans. His logic? If a robot's structure is totally different from humans, you can't collect realistic data that generalizes well to human-centric environments like homes, offices, and shopping malls. Smart move or risky future? Xping says human-like robots collect better data. I really want to know what you think. Drop it in the comments below. Iron also features some genuinely innovative hardware beyond just the AI brain. Xping claims she's equipped with the first all-solid-state battery in the robotics industry. That's huge because solid-state batteries are safer, more energy-dense, and longer-lasting than traditional lithium-ion batteries. The CEO defended using this sought-after tech in a robot instead of a car by pointing out that the safety requirements for a device operating in your home are actually more stringent. The robot also has what they call bionic muscles that enable different body shapes and a full-coverage soft skin embedded with touch sensors for more natural interaction. But here comes the reality check. Despite all this incredible technology, Xping is being surprisingly cautious about deployment. They're targeting mass production preparation starting in April of this year, with full production by the end of 2026. But here's what's fascinating. They're explicitly avoiding the two markets everyone assumes humanoid robots are made for. No factory work, because trials showed the complex hands wear out in as little as a month, and it's actually more cost-effective to hire human workers in China and no household chores yet, primarily due to safety concerns and the massive challenge of navigating cluttered, unstructured home environments. Would you trust a robot that looks and moves exactly like a human? Let's talk about it. Hit the comments and tell me what you think. Instead, Iron's first real-world deployment will be in commercial settings. Think tour guides, shopping assistants, and reception roles. The very first place you'll see these robots Xping's own retail stores starting this year, where they'll introduce products to customers. It's a smart, controlled rollout that lets them gather real-world data without the huge liability of sending these robots into unpredictable home environments. What makes Iron significant isn't just her appearance or her capabilities. It's what she represents about where robotics is heading. She forces us to confront questions about how human-like robots should be and whether there's a line we shouldn't cross. When robots can look, move, and potentially interact like humans, what does that mean for how we integrate them into society? Xping even introduced what they call a fourth law of robotics for iron. Robots cannot disclose any human privacy. That's a direct acknowledgement that these machines will be privy to intimate moments in our lives. The truth is, iron demonstrates that the future of humanoid robotics isn't some distant sci-fi dream. It's here right now, walking across stages and challenging our assumptions about what's possible. The engineering achievement here is remarkable, a robot that moves naturally enough to blur the line between machine and human, powered by cutting-edge AI and battery technology, yet deployed thoughtfully with clear limitations acknowledged up front. Whether this future excites you or unnerves you, one thing is certain. Xping's iron represents a genuine leap forward in what robots can be. And that's exactly what makes her the defining humanoid robot of 2025.